Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris. We're playing with the Leviathans DLC in the Heinlein patch, and let's get back into it. We've got a colony ship that has been built, and uh, I believe we were going to colonize down here. It's not a huge world, but I can just pop it right into that sector right away. Um... There is a tropical world there that I would like to uh, get terraformed. Is it being terraformed? It is not. Um, that would be a little bit expensive right now, so I'm going to hold off for the moment. This one is already available. Let's see, where would I want to put down? I guess right there. That's fine for now. I'll come up with more names later. I mean, I keep meaning to do that, and then I don't. <laughs> I'm pretty bad. That would be a decent world to colonize. Oh, I need to bump up the speed. Alright, so I can start colon uh, terraforming these other worlds, but it's going to be expensive. Alright, I decided to uh, try sending the uh, Ayuk fleet back here again. Um, Special project complete. Probably will take a while. Science Officer Nancy has managed to partially translate the alien mural discovered on Breek 1. The text contains a staggering amount of data, and the mural evidently serves as some sort of low-tech library. It describes in broad terms the collected technology, technological knowledge of an alien civilization that dominated this region of the galaxy some 80 million years ago. A lot of it is already known to, uh, to us, but the data does contain several promising leads for technologies we had yet to consider. There is enough data here to keep our scientists busy for decades, but we will need an orbital research facility to continue the translation efforts. That's pretty nice, plus two and everything. Too bad it is literally on the other side of the galaxy. That's gonna happen. <laughs> um, so someone is going to uh, benefit from that basically these guys. Um, speaking of, did I already, I think I already did get uh, some star charts from them. I think I can get some star charts from these guys. Yes, they'll take star charts. Is there anything, anyone else that I want star charts from who might give them to me? Well, you guys. I have probably done star charts, but you might have explored some more, perhaps? Oh, I can't get star charts from you. That is kind of annoying. Just like you can't get star charts from, uh, like, vassals and, uh, tributaries. Let's see... Uh, you like me? Let's get some star charts from you. Let's see what you guys have learned. Okay, so you've... That's basically just that star. This, sur this one has not been surveyed at all. Might be able to go survey that at some point. Um, one of my big questions is what has been surveyed up here. So, let's see. What about you guys? Uh, you guys... M oh, nope. That's right. You won't. You're tributary. Alright, well. That will do. Uh, they did survey up here, so we know all of this. They have some terraforming liquids. But I need gases. Yeah. really do want that system, but that would require um, another uh, frontier outpost, and I don't really want to do that. Alright, well, for now, uh, I am sending over, even though it's, uh, they were assisting research, uh, I'm gonna send Peter Holtgrew over here, uh, since I'm pretty sure a lot of this has not been surveyed. Um, well, actually, you know what? Will you go for star charts? You will. Alright, let's find out. 
Yeah, a lot of this stuff has not been surveyed. If anyone was going to survey this arm, it would have been these guys. So, we'll get some uh, good uh, new anomalies out here. Um, but I guess I will just have... Can you get over here? No. I can actually get into their space. Do you have any... Uh... Strategic resources. You have Teldar crystals. What do these do again? Kinetic weapon damage. Eh. It's not all that good. And... I don't know if I want to give them any uh, living metal. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really using kinetic weapons. Uh, I am basically an energy weapons person. Believe that holds true. Yeah, these are explosive weapons, not kinetic weapons. Nope. Alright, so I don't really care about Teldar crystals. Um, you've got... You've got some. But is that your only source? It's probably your only source. You won't trade anything. You, of course, won't trade anything. Well, I can get through your space, so you know what? All of these uh, um, systems down here will be surveyed, so let's just go ahead and begin surveying their stuff. There we go. Okay. Is there anyone else who has anything that I want? Feels like there's a dearth of uh, good strategic resources to get a hold of. Oh well. Alright, let's uh, let's just get right back into it. Uh, Research-wise, we have four months remaining on cold fusion power. That'll be very nice. Definitely need uh, my fusion power. That's Engos. Research complete. Ah, there we go. Gold fusion power. There we go. Uh, let's see. Satramine gas would be ethics divergence minus ten. Nope. Gotta go for the blue lasers. Gotta go for the blue lasers. Yeah, 13 months remaining, that's it. That's that's very good. That is very good. Definitely take that. Alright, they're coming back. Still building up the, uh, the fleet there. <clears throat> now, what I'll probably do is, as soon as this is done... Oh yeah, that's right, there's, uh, these guys. Uh, Sovereign Imithar and planets will now guarantee the independence of the United Cinematis Colonies. Uh, let's see, you guys are materialist and fanatic militarists. Enduring, which doesn't do anything for just regular pops, and rapid breeders. Hmm. Hmm. I have an urge to just invade that and take it over. Definitely have an urge to just invade that and take it over. Now, I've got some, uh... I, there's another one somewhere around here that I was thinking of doing the same thing to. Wasn't I? That's a Tundra World, so not that one. Yeah, this is another Ocean World. Uh, was there anything interesting about these guys? They're fanatic xenophobes and individualists, so they would not like being enslaved. And look at the Batharian stone. Look at all the food. That is a lot of food. How many, uh, transports do I have? I, you know what? Let's see. Let's go ahead and do it. Landing armies on a non-hostile planet will turn them hostile against us. Should we proceed? Yes. 
these guys, these guys definitely look like they would uh, uh, enjoy uh, escargot with drawn butter. So we need to eliminate them. Research complete. All right, we've got The Living State, Empire Leader Capacity Plus Two, Social Welfare Programs, which is a very good late game uh, uh, edict. Happiness plus 15%, Energy Credits minus 20%, Minerals minus 20%. You know, like in my previous game where uh, um, I was just running up against the uh, Mineral and Energy Cap all the time, yeah, uh, I should have uh, enabled that so much earlier. Uh, ship upgrade cost minus 15% is really good. Um, regenerative hull tissue is really expensive right now, so I'm going to pass on that. Um, biological enhancement and adaptation. I think we want cloning, uh, because I think this will lead to uplift. question is, do I want that now? No, we'll go for the uh, um, refit standards because uh, we are working on the blue lasers right now. So we will want to be able to upgrade our, our fleets for cheaper. Complete. So that'll be a good thing to get. Speckled Welk has finished construction. What did, did you finish? Anything uh, that I can make use of? Not really. <clears throat> Alright, well. You've got... Uh, Seven spare food. 15.8 and only using eight. You know, I got 100% habitability here. Um, and it's even lush, which is habitability plus 10%. So, with the Frontier Hospital, this planet basically has habitability of 120%. Um, let's swap this out. Are there minerals there? Yeah, let's get the minerals. I think that'll be better. Colony established. Okay, so we're going to be uh, over the limit for a little bit, but uh, we're still gaining plenty. Um, it did. That is impacting our influence. Um... Well, it doesn't say that it is. Nah, it's fine. Okay. So, first of all... You are beginning to build the appropriate tile. Let's go with Frontier Clinic. A high-level clear block blocker? I do. Currently leading the Broadleaf Sector. Let's pull you off for now. And immediately just clear these tiles. And then we will put you back into the sector. It's a little cheesy. There we go. Okay, how are you doing? You are you were getting a fair amount of minerals and you got a big stockpile of energy. You are focused on uh, mineral pr mineral pr that mineral production. Not generating that much science, unfortunately. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the worlds. You're already moving away. He's not really upgrading stuff all that well. One of these days, I will probably want to. Uh, take them out of the sector, but that'll probably wait until I actually have uh, a good amount of influence generation. Here we've got uh, fairly well developed, although still using basic hydroponics and generating enough food. That is good engineering research. This probably should be in these probably should be engineering stations, but then again I am generating more engineering research than anything else. And here in Bayou. You 
also migrating to Hyderia. That's fine. Uh, this is not a bad, uh, badly built up uh, place, in fact. What are you doing on the spaceports? <sighs> spaceports are pretty crappy. Research complete. Okay, blue lasers. Excellent. Uh, survey speed would be nice, but all my guys are all the way over in the other side of the galaxy. So let's go for the disruptors. Uh, we need, we need better weapons tech. And we'll get that uh, a little bit faster, so. Okay, you are actually, you've actually decided to uh, not move. Go ahead and go here, enter orbit. And we'll go ahead and merge you up. Construction complete. Let's go ahead and queue up all those uh, constructions. You are migrating to Hyderia. <clears throat> That's basically to be expected. Here we go. They did not have a whole lot left. Secured. Subjugating primitives. Our armies have successfully invaded and subdued the primitive forces on Viral Raka. The locals have given up all attempts at fighting back, and we have now subsumed their civilization into our empire. Although backwards as they are, it may take some time for the natives to become fully productive members of the Welk Society. The Xenos are no match for us. We've successfully invaded Viral Raka. Excellent. Um, oh, and uh, apparently some people don't like me because of that. That's... that's gonna happen. Annexed Primitives. Welp, that'll go away after a time. Ooh, uh, where'd my science ship... Okay, my science ships, I think... Yeah, they're already out there. Good. And Sovereign Imatharan Planets. Are you guys both, uh... You're xenophobes! You shouldn't care! Did I get this with... Well, it was only minus 30. Did I get this with everyone? Yeah. I'm getting that with everyone. Wow. I mean, some people don't give a crap. That I mean, don't give that much of a crap, but still... Well, I'd better go do the other one, then. Okay, so they are getting happiness minus 10%, minerals minus 35%, energy credits minus 35%, engineering, physics, and society output minus 100%. That's fine. Alright, where do I want to build the... Okay, let's build it here. Go ahead and build a monument to purity here. And I'm going to need my governor. Cannot enslave them. Actually, let's start with the, the food. Okay, any other food? No other food. Uh, we're not going to get adjacency here, but that's okay. Now what I want to do is move someone here from another world. Any uh, current worlds have a lot of food generation? You do. Partly that's because uh, I am replacing the food. Alright, well... Let's go ahead and resettle you since you're moving anyway. Viral Raka. Boom. Oh, seriously? Are you st Nope. Alright. What about... Speckled Welk? 
Nah, I just took its food away, and you've got a migrating pop. Alright, I think we'll have to we'll have to do it from here. Um Who do I want to move? I guess minerals is the uh least important of the things that I'm generating here. Yeah, nine minerals isn't gonna make that much of a difference. Ow, that is expensive. It is worth it though. We'll start getting uh, start getting our whelk pops uh, growing here. I cannot actually purge them. All right. Well, at the very least, uh, let's go with regulated xenos. Uh, seven pops will get minus five percent happiness from this policy. Do I care? Interesting. Four pops will get minus five happiness with Xenos only, and seven pops get minus five with regulated Xenos. What about uh, Purge? One pop will get minus five happiness. Well, that's better. <laughs> well, that's a lot better. Guess what, guys? You will not be eating any escargot. Let's purge them all. So they will be purged uh, on 2297. So about two years. Ah, two and a half years, actually. That is quite a bit. Now, that is going to piss some people off. Uh, purge policy minus 20. They still like me. That's the important thing. Yeah, they don't like my uh, purge policy either. Now... I think we might want to do something similar here, but I might want to... I think I'm going to wait until I pop this uh, planet out of the sector. Um, so that I can get more direct control. I'm going to sit with a... Well, I guess I don't really need to at this point. Now let's go ahead and put it into the uh, um, into the sector right away. There we go. Okay, sounds good. And I do have two more slots for leaders. Uh, first of all, let's see. Are there any good uh, custom AI assistant? Genius would be good. Wow, I've got, like, all the good... Th these are all just fantastic people. Um, but, nah. We'll wait until someone dies. Now, one, one thing about... Uh, you can actually... Uh, the 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 groups of leaders that you have here it rotates every ten years so in 2300 we'll get a new group uh, which kind of sucks and we're definitely not going to lose any of these guys before then yeah age is under 172 where's my uh, age is under 197 yeah they're they're not going away anytime soon uh, so how about so we've got some agrarian upbringings, architectural interests. I guess I, I'll just go with the leader lifespan person. And I'll just go with another leader lifespan person. I'd rather get the uh, get intellectuals, but leader lifespan people are better than uh, other things that I don't really need right now. Uh, you are the intellectual. I will leave you there. No governor. There's governor here. There's governor here. And no governor here. There we go. So we got our governors. Uh, we're down a significant amount of uh, influence, but it'll be okay for now.
And they'll go ahead and build up the uh, stuff in that system. Oh, I should actually... Embark all. Go ahead and come home. Now, for some reason, the Ayug fleet has decided to not go back home. Maybe it's because I reloaded the game. Uh, that's going to be my guess at the moment. Certainly the only thing I can think of. Governor Sophie Gautier has leveled up and gained the trait Substance Abuser. Lovely. Well, you're level 5, leader lifespan minus 20 years, whatever. That's fine. It's not that big of a deal. That'd be worse if uh, we had fleeting characters. Man, can you imagine that? Anything that I want to rebuild? I got four food. I can get rid of one of these. Is there anything on one of these tiles? No. I might actually be able to get rid of both of them. Let's go ahead and build the uh, orbital hydroponics. Uh, you're producing a good amount of research, but uh, you're also producing a good amount of minerals. Do we have a mineral processing plant here? We do not. But I want more minerals, so... Although I also want more science. Eh, let's go with science for now. Inari Republic declared war on the Inari Union of Planets. I thought someone was, uh, protecting these guys. Oh, that's right, they just had an association status. Oh well. I guess that doesn't uh, help in their defense. And, let's see, yep, they want to, uh, destroy those planets. Spiral Mandate will not be bullied. Did I lose my, uh, my Humiliate modifier? I did! I did! So yes, as soon as the Humiliate modifier went away... Uh... Sorry, Happiness Felt. Let's see, Naval Capacity plus 30%. Well, we're not using that. We are gonna lose our Happiness plus 10%, though. Let's see who we've got uh, available in the election. I guess it's just going to be Alara then. Hmm. I do not know why. I mean, it used to generate a whole bunch of people, and and it doesn't anymore. I mean, we're going to get to a point where there's literally only one candidate, and I do not know why that is. Well, the Spiral Mandate will not be bullied. And when we come back, we will probably have another war with them that we uh, just uh, surrender immediately on. See you next time, everyone.